Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Yoast SEO plugin for WordPress. We'll get it set up and installed on our website and we'll adjust all the initial settings and then we're going to connect it to Google Search Console to make sure our site gets indexed properly. If you've got a WordPress website, then having the Yoast SEO plugin it's pretty much mandatory for having good basic SEO and every website should have at least a basic SEO foundation. Now while Yoast has an awesome premium version of their plugin, today we're going to just take a look at installing the free version. It really gives you all you need just for that foundational SEO. Today we'll be installing the Yoast SEO plugin on one of our test websites here, uh, DomainPortfolio.com. Uh, really what this is, is this is just a website that has a number of domains that are for sale they're set up as posts in a portfolio fashion on this website so we'll go ahead and go back to the dashboard and get this set up now back in my WordPress dashboard we're gonna do this really easy and quick today so on the left hand side here we will want to navigate to plugins and then we we'll want to click on add new and then we'll just search for Yoast we've got our first result here and we can take a look at it Here's the free version of the plugin. You can take a look at reviews, what everything looks like. We're just going to go ahead and install now. And now that our plugin's installed, we're going to click on the blue activate button. And once the plugin has been installed and activated, you'll be automatically taken into the initial setup configuration screen. Now, if you're not, that may indicate that you've had a previous installation of Yoast SEO in which case you can come over here and now you'll see it on your left side menu Yoast SEO so we're just going to continue along with our first time configuration by clicking this button here now we'll be taken to the configuration screen where we'll walk through all of the steps for first time setup so right here under SEO data optimization we're going to click this button start SEO data optimization we'll let it do its thing when it's done we'll go ahead and click on continue and we'll move into the next section. So here's where we're going to fill in some of the organizational information for the site. This is used on the back end. I'm going to go ahead and click organization here. We've got a couple different options. It's going to grab our website name from our WordPress settings. We'll keep the organization name the same. Let's find our logo in our media library. We'll just grab this one right here, select. We'll go save and continue. Confirm that. Now to our social profiles. If you have social profiles, you can add those here. This website has no social profiles, so we're just going to click save and continue. Now we go to the personal preferences. In this section, I always just like to keep this uh, at a no for tracking data. If you want to subscribe to the Yoast newsletter, go ahead and add an email address here. I'm going to keep that blank and click Save and Continue. And now that it says we've finished, we're good to go. So we can either click here to learn more or we'll go back to our SEO dashboard. So now we've completed our first time configuration for Yoast. Um, the next step it may take a little time depending on how many pages you have. But what we want to do is we want to update the meta information for each page, each primary page on our website. So we can go to pages. This website only has uh, one main page and then we've got our, our blogs and then a domain page that lists out the post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our domain portfolio page, which is our home page for this website. And we're using the, the uh, classic editor. We're not using the block editor. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to have a section for Yoast SEO now. If you don't see this, you can come up here and toggle your screen options. And you'll see that we've got a Yoast SEO checkbox. So as long as that's checks, checked, that section will show up down here. So now what we'll want to do, uh, we'll just want to make sure we fill in all of the generic uh, SEO title, meta description for this page. Now there's also a number of variables you can use for automatic insertion to make that a lot easier. What I like to do is take the page title and site title as long as it's not too long. Um, we've got our little green indicators here that will let us know if we get too long in our descriptions. 
that'll let us know by turning orange or red. So to keep this very basic again, we're going to replace our, our page title here. We're going to use a quick description and then a separator and we're going to insert the site title. So you can see here how that, how that would look in this preview. We'll do the same thing for our meta description and a lot of times what I like to take is some actual verbiage or create a new meta description that sits inside the allowed space. Now for your meta description you can use your variables. I think it's best practice to create a 100% original description for this specific page. I copied a little text from the home page and we'll see here when I paste it in we, we get our orange indicator which is telling me it's either just too short or just too long. So we can adjust some of this here we're just a bit short so I'm just going to add a little bit more now we've got our our green indicator and what we we'll want to do is we we'll also want to make sure we're using our target keywords or key phrases in these uh, in the title and description what you'll do to to use this as a guide this is really awesome uh, basic feature of Yoast SEO we'll put our focus keyword in here and I'm just going to use domains well, we've got our indicators here we've got a readability score our SEO score and if we scroll down a little a little more here we can click on SEO analysis and we want to turn uh, this little red face into a green face to have for best practice to know that our, our page is fully optimized so we can go through some of these steps that Yoast gives us and as you add them these uh, indicators will go away they'll be replaced by green and once we get green and green we're good to go here and once we have everything optimized we're going to want to scroll up and we're going to update our page so it saves what we just did and now that everything's saved, what we'll want to do is we'll go back to all of our pages. We'll want to make sure that all pages are optimized. And then we can move on to our next step. Now the next step would be connecting up to Google to make sure that the site can be indexed. And then all of the adjustments we just made with this plugin can be read by Google Search Console for search engine results pages. To do this, we want to go over here to search.google.com forward slash search hyphen console. This is Google Search Console where we're going to add our website property so we can get feedback from Google and make sure that our website's healthy in its eyes. So once we're here, we'll just click on Start Now and it'll take us to our dashboard. We're going to want to come up to this area up here and we want to add property. This is where we're going to, the easiest way anyway, would be to add the full URL prefix or just our full URL. I'm going to click Continue. Now, if you've got an analytics property, you're going to be pre-verified. If not, um, Search Console will give you the option to include an embed tag or upload a file, and this will allow verification of the property. So you want to make sure that that happens. Once we get green here and we're good to go, we can go to property. And so this has been set up previously, but now we have a property in our Google Search Console on our Google account. And the first thing we want to do is get our site map read because this is this is what is going to feed into Search Console and allow Google to index all these pages. So we'll go over here to site maps and we see we had a previous index. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back to our WordPress dashboard and from our dashboard we're going to navigate to Yoast SEO settings. And then we'll skip through everything here and we can scroll all the way down to the bottom here we get our XML site maps. And what we could do is we've got a button that allows us to view our current site map. We'll click that. And now we'll see the XML site maps, everything that's linked. This is, uh, this is good to take a look at because we don't want to have anything indexed uh, that we wouldn't want showing up in search results. A lot of times with WordPress websites you want to get rid of categorization or tags. And so we see here this is going to be everything that if we include this site map URL, Google will index. So we're going to clean this up a little bit. In this website, we'll want to make sure our pages are indexed. We're using a portfolio feature in this theme uh, for our domain names. And let's see, we want to get rid of the, the author sitemap because even though we've got a blog that's started, it's not running yet. And just getting rid of the author sitemap may be a uh, good practice for this specific website. So we're going to go back into our dashboard. And now what we'll do, we're still on our settings page. We're going to take a look for author archives. What we'll do is we'll just make sure that this enable is disabled 
and we'll save our changes. And now if we go back and we refresh that screen, there, we've lost our, our author sitemap. So we've made our updates. Now we want to get this added to Search Console. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy this part of the path here. And then we're going to head back over to Search Console. Now we're going to add our new sitemap URL. We're just going to paste in that file name. We're going to click Submit. And we'll get our confirmation. Click got it. Now, although we got our confirmation message, the pop up there, we do see a success status on a previous crawl, which was today. Our changes can take place anywhere from 30 seconds from now up to a few weeks from now. Um, Google Search Console updates anywhere within that time period. We can also force a Google index by using the inspect tool here on any URL on our website, but we could save that for another video. Coming back to our WordPress dashboard now, we've successfully completed the initial setup of the Yoast SEO plugin, and we've connected it to Google Search Console. So at this point, you've got all the basic settings in place for your website to be indexed and to manage it using this plugin. Um, it'd be advisable to go through the settings, spend a little time and get to understand all the special features of the free version. And then once you're familiar, take a look at the premium benefits of the Yoast SEO Premium plugin.